Hey guys, you're tuning into Ghost Gaming 83. I'm your host, Ghost. Today, General's highlight will go to the one and only Hannibal. Okay, so I've seen a lot of people, they don't play Hannibal much, and I would consider Hannibal as uh, one of the most end game player i might be wrong okay uh according to certain people play style uh with my play style is different you know i know i say this many many times before um that there there are different play style involved in different people you know your play style might be different from other people's play style my play style might be different from other people's play style it's all up on you okay and how you play the game so let's take a look at Hannibal and see what uh, type of benefit he gives you and what type of buffs that um, cause him to to be a really good general let's go to others Hannibal okay so I know a lot of you have Hannibal as a purchase generals okay whenever you purchase uh, a pack or something like that a uh, hundred dollar pack you get a random general and I know majority of you have Hannibal okay but you guys don't use them why maybe it's some there's some misconception uh, that he is not as good as you think he is but to be honest he's a really good general okay let's go over to his basic stats his leadership is 120 his attack is 115 that's pretty high his defense is 108 that's okay so if I look at his stat he's mostly an attack general okay so uh, he let's take a look at his special skill master of strategy increase ground troop and mount troop attack by 15% and increase mount troop attack by another 20% so he specialized in mount troop if you take a quick look at his specialty and it lists all those buffs for mount troops then he is specialized in attack now you could use Hannibal for boss or PvP both ways it depends on uh, what also it also depends on what type of skill book you have um, you have him in place okay uh, he can do a lot of damages and on top of that if you send Hannibal in as a PvP and he if he's up there uh, according to strength uh, power level his general level his ground troop does a lot of defense especially if you skill uh, Hannibal with ground troop HP uh, mount attack and uh, ground troop defense if you're doing boss for generally you should skill uh, Hannibal with uh, mount HP mount attack and of course uh, if if you're only using him for boss you should use range okay uh, I know that there are some time when you sent generals like Hannibal into boss his ground troop doesn't do much uh, it's all about the cavalry so let's take a look at his specialty the first one is mount troop Ares is this will raise 10% for his attack and HP on his mount. So let's say you have uh, attack uh, mount troop attack 15% and another 20%, which is 35%. Add 10% uh, if you max out all his specialty. Okay, give you 10% of mount troop. That's 45% of mount troop. Okay, let's go to the next one formation so it's ground troop and mount troop attack by 10% another 
So you have 45 plus 10 percent of formation is 55. Let's go to the third one. Mount Troop Aries. Add 10 percent buffs to three category: attack, HP, and defense. So you have 50. Add another 10. 60. And for the last one, if you max everything out, of course you get Battle of Canel. Is that how I pronounce it? Canel? Or oh, Cane? Anyways, um, March, Marching Mount Troop Attack 36%. Marching Mount Troop HP 36%. That's a lot. So you have 35, 45, 55. 65 and of course another 36 percent okay and uh, by looking at this general uh, he is a pretty good end game for boss and secondary for PvP because we all know HP doesn't really do crap when you're in PvP if you're using mount. Um, it's more reliable on ground troop instead of mount troop. Okay. But HP plays best in its role when you're doing boss run. Okay. The more HP you have, the better it will stand against uh, bosses. Okay. So. When I take a look at Hannibal, um, I'm still building him. Let's take a look at my general. Hannibal. I put Hannibal in my sub city. So every time when I go into Balka Bog, I would raise up his level. He is currently at level 31 uh, with. 2 million um, attack power okay I mean 2 million power uh, I equip him with random items doesn't really matter okay I use him for just low level boss like maximum is B11 with roughly about 250,000 uh, tier 13 okay and he he kills the boss now if I use him as an end game general, I would want to raise everything up and place arc gear into him and refine his gear to basically mount troops attack, ground troop HP and range attack. Okay, if if I want to use him as a PvP general for boss general, mostly Mount Troop uh, attack, Mount Troop HP, um, defense I really don't know but if you're going to mix the troop with range go ahead and put uh, range attack skill book level 4 okay and you sent in a little half this and full, uh, full march of uh, cavalry okay but if you're doing high higher level boss I wouldn't suggest you mix the troops I know the reason why certain people mix the troop is to maximize the march size okay if you don't have let's say you're hitting a level 12 boss and you only have 600,000 tier 13 uh, cavalry and then you have like 500,000 tier 12 cavalry and you want to utilize your march size to max it out to hit B12 uh, you're gonna get probably around 4,000 wounds uh, if you're only using 500 K tier 13 you're ba basically gonna get uh, around 5,000 wounds okay so the way I skill Hannibal is I skim with ground troop attack Mount troop attack and rain troop attack now before when I skill this guy 
I really didn't think about uh, what type of skill book he's gonna be using so I just put attack for each um, category but mostly I'm gonna take out the ground troop attack okay uh, the reason why I put there is because his special his special skill increased ground troop and mount troop attack so ground troop attack has um, about 40% increase but then as we know ground troop attack um, you really don't want your, your ground troop to attack you want your ground troop to defend so probably I'll be replacing ground troop attack with ground troop HP okay so that's it guys today's highlight this is a short video there's nothing much to say about Hannibal okay he is a great general he suck in the beginning but if you build him up when when you're higher level let's say you're K35 you build Hannibal, Hannibal up to uh, level 35 max him out have arc gear on him uh, max out the ruins you know put proper skill book at uh, level 4 he is unstoppable okay and he would do a lot of damages and that's one of the way that you will eventually uh, gonna need Hannibal to do a lot of attack especially in PvP a bog a bog you know if you maximize Hannibal and you want to test him out I would suggest you go into bog a bog and then test out his attack um, that's the best way to go when you have that all down then you go ahead and use him in SVS with another player okay now to utilize Hannibal to have more buff of course use your city buff and increase the march size capacity uh, increase all troop attack all troop defense and all troop HP these will give you um, attacks depending on uh, the level of the buff for example the one hour attack increase only at 10% uh, the first one which is the purple one and then the second advanced one hour attack gives you 20% buff and the third one super attack increase it gives you 50% buff but it only lasts for 10 minutes the advanced one hour attack of course it lasts for one hour and then the other one is one hour and it lasts for an hour too you know but the 50% increase of an attack it's enormous okay you will raise up all your attack uh, when you have that buff but it only lasts for 10 minutes okay now you can obtain Hannibal pretty easy it's a most drop general if you buy a pack okay uh, you cannot obtain Hannibal through tavern because it's not available in tavern let's see if it is or not no it's not available in tavern so that means that it is available in packs or you can go to the art hall and general hall and if you collect everything especially down to the victorious master you will get a random general drop and hopefully you get uh, Hannibal out of it but there I, I don't see any other ways of uh, retaining Hannibal at all except for random drops and buying packs or the art hall okay so that's it guys thank you for tuning in to ghost gaming 83 and this week highlight general go to Hannibal stay tuned for next week to see who is the highlighted general be sure to like subscribe and turn on that notification bell I have a lot of video for you coming up and if you turn on your notification bell you will get notified and you will be the first person to receive the next video happy gaming and I'll catch you guys later bye